welcome to CSU Global's 2021 Winter Virtual Commencement Ceremony. I'm Dr. Michael Skiba, Program Director of Criminal Justice and faculty member here at CSU Global. We are so excited that you've joined us today. It is my distinct pleasure to serve as the Master of Ceremonies as we broadcast live from Denver, Colorado. Now let's officially start our ceremony. Now joining us from the Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickman in Honolulu, Hawaii, she received her bachelor's degree in accounting from CSU Global. Please rise as we welcome Jacqueline Garcia to perform our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled Thank you for sharing your amazing talent with us, Jacqueline. Thank you for joining us to celebrate our graduates as they mark this accomplishment and continue on their path to success. Now, graduates, today is the day your degree will be conferred and you will be an alumnus of Colorado State University Global. You should be very proud of this accomplishment and I hope you enjoy today's program. From all of us at CSU Global, congratulations and welcome to Winter Commencement 2021. The CSU Global graduate is unique. They have overcome obstacles and have balanced family, work, and education to achieve impressive goals, all while never setting foot in a lecture hall. As the first entirely online accredited state university, Colorado State University Global is a trailblazer in online education. But the real trailblazers are the graduates we celebrate today. This inspiring group of driven, dedicated individuals has worked incredibly hard to reach this milestone. They wisely put CSU Global's modern structure and program offerings to work for them, learning the skills and earning the credentials required to cross that long-awaited finish line. Our graduates are beloved members of our CSU Global community and leaders in their own communities too. And they understand the value of education in their personal and professional lives. As they continue on their current path or forge a new one, we are confident that they are prepared to face the challenges of tomorrow's workforce with organization, agility, and tenacity. Today's graduates are shining examples of how a custom online learning experience can open doors and create opportunities that may otherwise have seemed out of reach. They have studied, honed practical skills, and demonstrated exceptional critical thinking abilities, all while learning real-world strategies from respected, experienced industry leaders. CSU Global graduates, our proud Golden Eagles, today and every day, we are honored to celebrate you and all that you've accomplished. Congratulations! Graduates, you have long anticipated this day, and we welcome you, your loved ones and friends, and CSU Global staff and faculty. 
Now, as an academic and international counter fraud practitioner for almost 25 years, and some of you might know me from the media as Dr. Fraud, my alter ego, I know firsthand the hard work that is needed to earn a degree. And as a faculty member at CSU Global for over 10 years, I am intimately familiar with the challenges you all face to get to this point, and I'm always impressed by the perseverance and determination it takes to get to this finish line. Now, you always fill those discussion boards with incredible insights by Sunday, 11.59, 59 Mountain Time, of course, and consistently hold yourself to high standards with your critical thinking and portfolio project submissions in APA formatting, of course. Now, today we celebrate you, your hard work, your determination, your achievement. Now, let me begin today by explaining how you as graduates, family, and friends can engage with us and each other throughout the ceremony. Now, all this information is available online, and we will also post any links in this comment section. Now, to participate in the live chat, you must have a Google or YouTube account, and once signed in, you'll be able to comment directly into the chat feed located to the right of the live stream. Now, please join the conversation and congratulate your graduates and each other on social media using hashtag CSUGlobalGrad and tag at CSUGlobal. Now, be sure to share pictures of who you are viewing with, where you are viewing from, because we know we have students from all over the US and globally joining us today, and we want to see you, and selfies are welcome. Now, the entire commencement ceremony will be available to view shortly after our broadcast concludes. And to receive a notification on when this video and others become available, please be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button under the video. Now, if you'd like to download a copy of today's program with the list of all the graduates, a link can be found on the commencement website. And the link to the form has just been posted in the chat section. Now, while today marks the official conferral of your degree, you will also be invited to our next in-person commencement ceremony, which is currently scheduled for June 4th, 2022. And now, please turn your attention to the presidential address presented by President Pamela Tony. Good morning. It is wonderful to be with you all as we celebrate the accomplishments of our graduates together. Graduates, you did it. Your relentless pursuit of your education has brought you to this point, and that same tenacity will carry you well into the future. You have completed degrees despite challenges that have presented themselves in every aspect of our lives. But today, as you accept your degree, you are demonstrating your resilience, your adaptability, always rising to the occasion to achieve this accomplishment. That hard work makes today even more important and special. We want to express our thanks to our graduates, friends, family members, colleagues, and loved ones who supported them throughout their CSU Global experience. I want to personally thank you for the support you provided that allowed our graduates to reach this milestone. Please join me in recognizing the veterans, active military, and their family members. We thank you for your service to our country, and we are deeply grateful for your sacrifices. We also want to thank the CSU Global stakeholders who have helped facilitate our graduates' academic success. I would like to acknowledge the Colorado State University System and Board of Governors. It is their understanding and support of the work that we do at CSU Global that enables us to provide the respected degrees our graduates have earned today. Last but not least, I want to thank our CSU Global staff and faculty for their continued support and hard work toward helping our students. Their dedication every day facilitates our students' learning, professional growth, and success while earning their degrees. We have truly enjoyed being partners with you in this journey. And now, graduates, it is my distinct honor and privilege to formally congratulate you on reaching this academic achievement. You have accomplished much to get to this point. You have mastered your field of study and set yourself up for workplace success all while juggling work, family responsibilities, community service, and more. We know that it has not been an easy journey, 
and we applaud your commitment and determination. For all of our participants today, wherever in the world you may be at this moment, I hope that you will enjoy the rest of the ceremony as we celebrate the success of our graduates together. Thank you. Thank you, President Tony. And thank you to all the graduates who submitted thank you videos. To view additional videos, you can visit the link posted in the chat after this ceremony. It is now my pleasure to introduce CSU Global Provost, Dr. Paul Sabry. Welcome and thank you for attending today's commencement ceremony. I'm Dr. Paul Savory, and I have the honor of serving as the Provost of Colorado State University Global. As I stand before you in my academic regalia, let me offer some context for it. The custom of wearing distinctive dress for academic ceremonies goes back to the 12th and 13th centuries, when colleges were first taking form. Most of the scholars in those early institutions belonged to religious orders, and their hats, robes, and hoods identifying them as belonging to a particular group. Academic dress as we know it today has been more or less fixed for the past 300 years. In the United States, every detail has been standardized by the American Council of Education. The types, length, and sometimes the color of gown varies by the degree level and the various trim colors and hoods represent different disciplines, specialties, and colors of the degree granting institution. As we honor our graduates today for their hard work and success, we also honor the values and traditions that academia stands for through the use of academic regalia centuries of preparing people to lead lives of significance. Today's commencement is a momentous day. It symbolizes a new beginning for each of our graduates and also prepares an opportunity to reflect on one's unique journey. More than classes, papers, projects, and Starbucks coffee, behind each of our graduates is a support network consisting of parents, grandparents, children, spouses, and friends. Thank you to each of you for the support and encouragement that you have provided your graduate. Graduates, on behalf of the faculty, I congratulate you on your success and the recognition you'll receive today. Thank you for allowing CSU Global to support you in your journey, and we wish you professional and personal success. Thank you for those kind words, Dr. Savory. I would now like to introduce you to our student speaker. Just last year, this individual participated in a CSU Global commencement ceremony as she earned her bachelor's degree in criminal justice. Now today, she's reached another milestone and has earned her master's degree in information technology management. What an accomplishment. Now joining us today from Amsterdam, other part of the world, please welcome your winter 2021 virtual commencement student speaker, Deirdre Yonker. Greetings CSU Global, President Pamela Tony, faculty and staff, my fellow graduates, our families and friends. I'm so pleased to be here with you today, and I'm honored to have been chosen to address you today. First, I want to congratulate my fellow graduates. I am so proud of you for achieving your goals. Five years ago, I was quite nervous about making the leap from earning an associate at a community college to entering a state university. I was not sure how or I would fit in. But I always keep the mindset in that we never know what the future holds. So despite being nervous, I enrolled at a CSU Global and pursued my education, first with a bachelor's degree in criminal justice, and today a master's in information technology management. As I reflect back at the beginning of this journey, I can't help but wonder where I would be if I had chosen another path. Would I be working at another job that wasn't fulfilling? Would I have discovered to overcome the challenges that life has presented? Doubtful. But what I do know is that I'm grateful to CSU Global for guiding and supporting me along the way. I will miss being a student at this institution, which has felt more like an extended family than just a school. If I could give some advice today, it would be to take on those challenges presented to you. Those are what give you the opportunity to grow. Just like the old saying goes, life is just a journey, not a destination. So don't miss out on what could be an incredible opportunity. Also, never give up on yourself. Whatever success you find will fuel your future. And finally, you are not alone in this journey. While we may reside across states and even countries, for example, I'm addressing you today from Amsterdam, 
We are all in this together. I'll offer one last piece of advice that's helped me. Think of a goal you hope to achieve. You don't have to share it with anyone. Just keep it in mind and remind yourself of it regularly. Whatever that goal is, another degree, a promotion, or a new job, just go for it. Someday you might be the inspirational story that helps someone overcome their obstacles and achieve their goals. Class of 2021, I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. And to all the friends and family members watching today, thank you so much for supporting your graduate through their journey. I am so proud of you all. Thank you, and again, congratulations. Thank you, Deirdre, for your inspirational words. As you mentioned, the graduates we celebrate today surmounted many obstacles in reaching this important milestone. All of us at CSU Global are inspired by your resilience, tenacity, and dedication. Graduates, we are thrilled to welcome you to the CSU Global Alumni Association. And here is a message about your Alumni Association benefits and additional opportunities to stay connected to your CSU Global family. What you gain from CSU Global doesn't stop after you complete your degree or certificate. You are now part of the CSU Global Alumni Association. Welcome! The CSU Global Alumni Association offers benefits, resources, and programs to more than 18,000 alumni worldwide. You can start taking advantage of those benefits today by joining Global Connect at globalconnect.csuglobal.edu. Through Global Connect, you can easily access all alumni-related resources, including networking, career, and mentoring opportunities. As ever, we are proud to continue to support lifelong learning and workplace success. We look forward to staying connected with you. Congratulations and welcome to the CSU Global Alumni Association. As a reminder, if you miss any of today's program, the entire commencement ceremony will be available to view shortly after our broadcast concludes. And to receive a notification on when this video and others will become available, please be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button under the video. Now, our next speaker is guaranteed to give you a little inspiration as you step into the next phase of your life. At 18 years old, he joined the U.S. Marines to become a Navy corpsman. He was deployed to Afghanistan in 2011, where he stepped on an IED and, as a result, lost his leg. Now, he decided, decided to let his injury be a story of hope to motivate others. Today, he is a speaker, athlete, husband, father, and computer forensic analyst based in Colorado Springs. Now, his accomplishments include competing in the Invictus Games, being a participant on The Amazing Race, and has been a guest on the Today Show. Now, please join me in welcoming Redmond Ramos. Congratulations, everyone. I am so excited to be here today. Uh, before I begin, I want to give a huge thank you to your president, Pamela Tony and everyone in the CSU Global Commencement Committee for giving me the opportunity to speak to you all today. Today's the day. Can you believe it? Today is the day. Today's your day. The day that you have all been working so hard for. Today, your hard work has paid off and the world gets to see how great you really are. And knowing that today is your day, I had to ask myself, what can I tell you? What could I possibly tell you that you don't already know? You've all been through a lot already. Many of you have worked overtime at your jobs while working overtime at CSU Global. Many of you have raised children at the same time as raising your grades. So what could I tell you that you haven't heard already? You have proven that you know the importance of an education and today you reap the benefits of what can be achieved through hard work and determination. So I decided to give you advice on something that I know very well. I want to tell you how to live like you almost died. 
I want to tell you how to live as if it's your second chance at life. When I was 22 years old, I was cursed with a serious case of one day I will itis. One day I will eat healthier and work out. One day I'll learn to surf. One day I'll get a degree. One day I'll learn to play the guitar. One day I'll compete in track. One day I'll start being nicer to my family. One day I'll pursue a career in law enforcement. Then suddenly, out of the blue, I learned a very hard life lesson. I stepped on an IED, an improvised explosive device, a bomb. I felt the horrible damage to my body. I felt the bones shatter in my foot upon impact. I felt my body turn ice cold and I felt shivers go up and down my spine. I thought I was going to die. And I realized in that instant, one day may never come. I realized one day was not certain. The only thing that's certain is now. The only thing that's certain is the present. We've all heard stories of people seeing their life flash before their eyes when they face death. It's not exactly what happened to me. On the day I thought I may die, it wasn't the life that I had lived that flashed before my eyes. It was the life that I had not lived. It was the life that I wish I had lived. It was all the things I wanted to do, all the hobbies that I didn't do because I was busy chasing dreams that weren't mine. All the inventions I thought about making, the books I wanted to write, the degree I really wanted to pursue, all the people I could have helped along the way, all the states I hadn't visited, all the countries I hadn't seen, all the cultures I hadn't experienced. Seeing the life that I had not lived flash before my eyes helped me see how boring I had become. As my Marines treated me, everything moved in slow motion. I laid on the ground, watching my Marines save my life. I thought about how little I felt I had accomplished in my life at that point. I also realized how lucky I was. I had a second chance at life, a second chance to do anything and everything I ever wanted to do. I was just given a gift and I swore on that day I would say yes to any opportunity that passed by me. I swore I would never squander that second life that I was just given. I swore I would never be boring again. So in case you ever find yourself on a path that does not excite you, here are my three rules to help you stop being boring and start living the life that you were meant to live. Rule number one, create laughter. When I showed up to the hospital in California to receive my amputation, I was sent to this wonderful but terrifying hospital, this physical therapy facility. This is a room that was filled with about 40 combat injured amputees being treated at any given time. A room filled with seemingly broken people. But if you spent more than a minute in that room, you would quickly realize this is not a place for pity. This was a place for growth. And that room was very intimidating for a newly injured warfighter like myself. But not in the way you might think. I, I didn't pity the Marines in there. I looked up to them. They were my heroes, my idols. It was intimidating seeing all of these Marines who happened to be missing legs or missing arms, had scars everywhere, but still working out harder than I'd ever seen anyone work out before. Sweating in their shirts that said stuff like, I had a blast in Afghanistan, or combat injured Marine, some assembly required. There may have been pain in that room, but there was no sadness. There was laughter, there was fun, and it was intentional. A conscious decision made to lift up ourselves and everyone around us each and every day. And as a result, 
there were amazing results and progress that would not have occurred otherwise. See, that group had learned that if you want to stop being boring, you have to create laughter, especially in the tough times. Rule number two, find the opportunity in every obstacle. Every single time we're faced with an obstacle, we are presented with an opportunity to succeed and grow. When I stepped on that IED, my obstacles were pretty clear. They were physical. So when the doctors told me my obstacle, when the doctors told me, Redmond, you will never be able to run again if you keep your leg. All I heard was that I was going to run again. All I heard was an opportunity, an opportunity to push through the hard times, to push through the pain and live life my way. Every single obstacle has a hidden opportunity. For me, an obstacle of dealing with an amputation led to an opportunity to try out for the Navy track team, which led to an opportunity to compete for Team USA at the Invictus Games in London, which led to an opportunity to compete on a TV show called Triumph Games, which led to an opportunity to compete on the TV show The Amazing Race, where I was blessed with a chance to run around and explore the world, which of course led to a hundred different obstacles and with them, a hundred different opportunities to live a fun and meaningful life. This isn't easy work. Finding opportunities and challenges can be really hard to do, especially when you're struggling. But when you train your brain to think that way, eventually you will become unstoppable. You will become even more successful than you already are. So if you want to stop being boring, find the opportunity in every obstacle. And lastly, rule number three, don't be afraid to fail. In fact, you should fail at something every day. Seriously, every single day, you should go out and look for a chance to fail at something new. Plan to fail at something new or exciting as often as possible, because failing at something means that you are willing to dare greatly. And when you live your life this way, you are going to fail. And that's all right. That's part of the fun. It's not an if, it's not a maybe, it's when, it's how often, it's how many times am I going to fail? This is hard work. It's much easier to use failure as an excuse to give up, to stop pursuing your dream because of tough surroundings or because of a lack of support, to give in when you feel that you have tried giving it every single thing that you've got only to be disappointed by the results time and time again. But if there's one thing that my life has taught me, it's that we can recycle that pain. We can get something from it. We could use that pain to propel ourselves towards something greater. A willingness to fail will lead to fun and exciting stories each and every day. If you wanna stop being boring, don't be afraid to fail. Ladies and gentlemen, graduates, yeah, it sounds good to say, doesn't it? Graduates, life is short, so live it your way. You only get one life. Don't you dare make it boring. Today's not just a day to celebrate all that you have done. Today is a day to celebrate all that you will do. I am so proud of each and every one of you. Congratulations to you all. And I am excited to see how much you all positive, positively impact the world. Thank you very much. Thank you, Redmond, for reminding us to laugh no matter what life hands us, to look for the opportunities in every challenge, and for giving us permission to fail as we dare greatly. You are an inspiration to us all. And before we get to the conferral of the degrees, we want to share this short message from the CSU System Chancellor, Dr. Tony Frank. On behalf of the entire Colorado State University system, congratulations, graduates. 
You've accomplished something truly meaningful and important, and we are all proud to celebrate with you as you move forward to the next stage of your life, career, and education. Of course, this year's graduation isn't what any of us expected. As much as any other class in our lifetimes, you graduate into an uncertain time. But even though this past year may be particularly memorable, what time isn't uncertain? And when haven't you faced uncertainty and moved ahead? No one models that sort of determination and commitment better than our CSU Global graduates. You took a non-traditional path, the path of perseverance, the path that was right for you because of your background, experience, and goals. You saw an opportunity that others didn't see, and you took it and held yourself accountable to that commitment and attained your goal. In that knowledge, you can find certainty and direction in any uncertainty that you face. When the path isn't clear, you'll clear your own path and keep moving forward. You're the graduates our world needs right now, and we could not be more honored than we are today to recognize all that you have achieved. You leave here with a better future ahead, a sense of accomplishment, and our pride in you, as well as our deepest congratulations to the class of 2021. Thank you, Dr. Frank, for that insightful message. CSU Global graduates, you are seasoned online learners. You chose to take a non-traditional path. You worked through the challenges of juggling work and busy personal lives, and above all, you made it here today. And with all the uncertainty we face, your determination and achievement gives us all hope. I would now like to introduce Governor Jane Rob Rhodes from the Colorado State University System Board of Governors for a few words. On behalf of the Colorado State University System Board of Governors, it is an honor to be part of this ceremony and have the opportunity to celebrate your accomplishments as new CSU Global graduates. We are grateful that you have chosen to earn your degree with one of our schools and are thrilled to welcome you as alumni of CSU Global and the CSU system. And now, on behalf of the Colorado State University System Board of Governors, I hereby authorize you, President Tony, to confer the recommended degrees upon these candidates. Congratulations. Thank you, Governor Rob Rhodes, for those kind words. We will now proceed to the degree conferral, beginning with candidates for bachelor's degrees and then continuing on with our candidates for master's degrees. Now, friends and family, unlike a traditional commencement ceremony where you may be asked to hold your applause until the end, we encourage you to cheer loudly wherever you are and of course, send messages to congratulate your graduate using the chat section and of course, on social media, using the hashtag CSUGlobalGrad. Now the names will be read in alphabetical order by degree program, and a slide with your name and program will be shown at that time. We will first recognize our bachelor's degree candidates, starting with graduates in bachelor's of science in accounting. Bachelor's degree candidates. Bachelor of Science in Accounting. Jagruti and Kola. Courtney Bickford. Leoma Don Bremer. Laura Ann Campbell Willoughby. Tara Lene Chenault. Emily S. Corwin. Leah Cruz. Thomas A. Dillon. Maria Dudding. Alexander Caton Duquette. 
Mary Evlion. Tatiana Yolanda Gill. Jordan Goodale. Therese Gramco. Cleo Hawkins. Brianne Iverson. Taylor Monroe Jones, Naomi L. Kaiser, Devin Knipfer, Katrina J. Liu. Jennifer M. Lorenz. James Joseph Lynch IV. Michelle Leanne Mackelberger. Nicole Marr. Megan Margolis Stokes. Sandra D. Matthews. Michael Dean McCollum. Jeannie A. Miller. Christina A. North. Courtney Puckett. Amanda Salmons. Stacy J. Sigmund. Brittany Tassler. Marcita Vidskrbova. Jennifer L. Weber. Bachelor of Science in Business Management. Sam Bartlett. Anne K. Broussard. Janice Marie Jenkins Brown. Pierre Linnell Buchanan. Jennifer Clary. Jason William de Vilbus. Teresa M. Jones. Jessica A. Kaufman. Lindsay Elise Kenyon. Diana Lynn Klatt. Adam Klein. Cheryl Marie Kleckner. Jonathan Kostizak. Jan Michael Vincent Moore. Rafaela Lucia Nicoletti Pacini. Heather Omta. Tanya Sue Phillips.
Danielle Marie Platsamuhas. Caitlin M. Quatrochi. Alicia Stewart. Natasha Tugas. Mark Westby. Gary Wayne Wilkins Jr. Bachelor of Science in Communication. Kayla Bodner. Shanti M. Hebert. Ebony Dawn McIntosh. Bachelor of Science in Computer Science. Olu Ibiube Onakwe. Cheyenne Austin Bounds. Nicole Pierce. J. Christopher Warren Williams. Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice and Law Enforcement Administration. Linda Marlene Garrido. Melissa L. Gibson. Katie Harris Bond. Chad Luther East. Elizabeth Marie Jones. Kenneth John Martinez. Migdalia Negron. Robin R. Samples. Kimberly Joanna Staub. Tyler Samuel Trujillo. Becca Venable. Bachelor of Science in Cybersecurity. Motaz Awad. Bachelor of Science in Finance. Brittany Hassa. Bachelor of Science in Healthcare Administration and Management. Caitlin Elizabeth Artis. Winston Garrett Banks. Sarah Bennett. Jennifer Joy Bogdanowitz. Carmen Natisha Brackeen. Chandra Monique Creighton. Elizabeth Marie Dorset. Summer Love Esposito. Miri Motu Fear. Estefania Garcia.
Margaret Ann Griffin. Ashley Marie Gutierrez. Alexis Ellis King. Amy Lynn Kresha. Jamila Miller. Cassandra L. Mills. Valerie L. Moorfield. Amora Peralta Palmer. Kristen Ray Phillips. Jonathan Lamar Rucker. Stephanie Lynn Sager. Gina Sanchez. Ashley Chidi Stevens. Alexis Nicole Todd. Erica Nicole Wartzman. Bachelor of Science in Human Resource Management. Tanya Angelina Butler. Sunki Cabrera. Rebecca S. Carlson. Sarah Cash. Scott B. Chandler. Jennifer Child. Leslie Ann Clay. Tanya L. Gervais. Brenda M. Henry. Melissa M. Howe. Tasha Hope Hullett. Connor S. Kerr. Tenniel Christine Langeel. Blanca Lundeen. Tammy K. Martin Martinez. Melinda Kate McConnell. Haley Mikkel Downey. Dana J. Melchiori. Brandon Damon Mullins. Anne Louise Palazzolo. Jessica Marie Parmelli. Deanna Marie Ross. Naval Abdrak Manova Ross. Fatumata CD Bay. Michaela Adams Sierra Harper. Angela B. Stansberry. Brianna N. Vega.
Dauphin de Merle Williams, Jr. Alessandra Young. Bachelor of Science in Human Services. Donna Marie Bird. Danielle Calhoun. Sean Edward Johnson. Kayla M. Moran. Jaylee Relaford. Laura Adela Rodriguez. Luisa F. Rojo. Mackenzie L. Shedd. Leah Mara Veloso. Kimberly W. Williams. Bachelor of Science in Information Technology. Christopher Edward Brown. Luis E. Colon. Chiranji B. Dungal. Matthew J. Dash. Lapidra Evans. Tyler P. Gilson. Rachel Hojati. Matthew Jean Hovland. Rod A. Hunsaker. David Allen Jacobs, Jr. Glenn Kerbyan. Peter Lee. Caitlin Elizabeth Matchett. Ryan Kenneth McPherson. Hannah Morneau. Rashid Ogunlowo. Sean Troy Payton. James Brian Popolowski. Jason David Quinn. Jeffrey D. Richard. Patrick A. Reinard. Christopher William Roswell. Dylan A. Schaefer. Michael A. Schwarz. John Robert Turner. Douglas Philip Wald. Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Professional Studies. Roslyn J. Reese. 
Bachelor of Science in Management Information Systems and Business Analytics. Sultan G. Bayene. Shirley Diane Daisley. John Hall. Luis M. Hernandez Vega. Notion Khan. Madhu D. Khatri. Irfan Peterson. Jennifer Rada. David Michael Reeves. Lino Christopher Rodello. Nico Shaw. Bachelor of Science in Marketing. Faisal Al Qasim. McKenna Carter. Pam Chavez. Caitlin Eliza George. Elizabeth Grimm. Andrew A. McKay. Robert P. Michek. Trevor Montgomery. Mipumililo Nileko Jr. Sabrine Nicholson. Jade B. Parrish. Kaylee Reinert. Paula K. Wheeler. Bachelor of Science in Organizational Leadership. Brittany Anderson. Eilish Michaela Anderson. Justin M. Baines. Amanda Grant. Desmond Arnell Gums. Sermon Hazer. Barbara L. Kester. Evan Lane. Brandon Loosely. Josephine Paula Martinez Rivera. Matthew McLean. Justin Wayne Mitchell. Sarah Lynn North. Amanda C. Picone. Rachel Yvonne Rivas Walker. Stephanie Rodriguez.
Joe Rosetta. Kayla Smith. Tykura M. Swint. Brittany Renee Toth. Mary Patience Webb. Bachelor of Science in Project Management. Zachary Armstrong. Lon D. Brown. Jean Pedro Celestin. Isaac Michael Ferreira. Abby Gifford. Alan Robert Galady. Zarek Hahn. Shanice Nicole Hills. Tina R. Jensen Hart. Brian Kirby. Amy Coker Lauder. Corey Mysell. Jared Arthur Miera. Katie Monteith. Douglas Ray Parton. Matthew Ryle. Stephen R. Rodriguez. Jeremiah Dwayne Wilkins. Jeff R. Womack. I'm so happy <laughs> to be almost done. <laughs> it's been a huge part of, of my family. It's a major accomplishment. It was a really great experience. I really enjoyed it. It's been a long uh, time coming, that's for sure. So I actually started in 2017, had to take a break for a couple of years after having my second little one. It's a huge accomplishment. I'm super excited and I can't believe it's over, honestly. <laughs> I am uh, 52 years old. I finished my undergrad degree in September of this year. Um, I'm excited to finish my degree and plan on attending um, back at CSU Global in January to go for my master's in the same oh. program. The few people that really helped me complete the program, and I get a little emotional because they're here. It was my daughter, my 10-year-old daughter. She was just like, this little person that was really understanding and sweet. That's my husband. <laughs> Hello. Hello. My husband has been my number one supporter for sure. And then Dr. Miller, I'd say those were the, my two, uh, the two rocks in, in the, uh, the time here. <laughs> we are the you, actual darling. hidden heroes. <laughs> yes, 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 you are. <laughs> yes, many bath times of children were covered. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> I was um, just really impressed with how the experience and the support of, of some of the professors I work with um, that really helped me. Early on in the program, I had a professor that was really, really fun. There were a few of them that were so kind, so nice, and so encouraging. And that meant a lot to me because there were times that I'm like, I'm through, I can't do this anymore. 
And um, one of the teacher, when I first started, I'm like, mm -mm, I'm, I'm not into this right now. I'm just gonna stop. And he said, no, don't stop. He said, keep on, you know, he's just gonna get easier and easier. And so um, that was very encouraging to me. When I first enrolled, I was kind of like, I don't, I had no idea what it was to take an online class. But then it was, I remember the first course, I was like, oh my God, I did good. I found the classes pretty interesting. All the classes have been really helpful. And, you know, my favorites, I just love the material. I just really liked the program. And so I, I was very happy here. I kind of got eager, like I wanna, you know, I wanna apply what I learned. And I just really appreciate everything, like everything that I've gotten to learn through this program. Um, it's been really awesome and it's helped me get an internship in project management at the company I currently work at. CSU's helped me to push past that, that one major milestone, you know, that, you know, started to unlock other milestones that, you know, at the age of 18, you sit back and you're like, oh, that's, that's impossible. That's, that's, I can't imagine like, you know, applying for an MBA program, you know, and, and you know, fast forward to now, it's like, holy cow, yeah, here, here it is. Like, I, I, I've done it. What's next? Congratulations to all undergraduate students. You should be very proud of your accomplishments. We will now recognize our master's degree candidates. As with our undergraduate students, names will be read in alphabetical order and by program. Please celebrate our graduates in the comments section and on social media. We will start with our graduates from a program that I direct, CSU Global's master's degree in criminal justice. Master's Degree Candidates. Master's Degree in Criminal Justice and Law Enforcement Administration. Makira A. Blake. Sheila Curtis. Megan R. Gillis Todd. Casey Higgerson. Nellie Jones. National Society of Leadership and Success. Golden Key International Honor Society. Knowledge at CSU Global acquires a dream that formulates hope. Students normally find that they never knew they had. Today's work involved learning about myself, and I calibrate a virtual reality with a criminal justice master's degree. Destiny Antoinette Valdez. Master's degree in finance. Rishi S. Amara Tunga. Flavia M. Bates. Danielle N. Bingham. Christine Cruz. Justin DeMorinville. Alex Matthew Garcia. Bryce Johnson. Michael A. Johnston. Nicholas Price Keener. Shyam Naik. Marguerite Robin. Holly Soderbeck.
Pamela Lynn Tish. Amanda Phillips White. Master's degree in healthcare administration. Maria Altman. Dalton W. Atterbury. Lisette G. Branville Navarro. Elizabeth Ann Candido. Christine N. Carlson. Trinette N. Chapin. Ronette L. Wynotsky. Selena Cousins. Jamie Coy. Marissa Lynn DiBraccio. Justine B. Davis. Alisa Godwin Dunn. Rochelle M. Dyer. Destiny Ferreira. Sandra K. Gian Greco Brown. Megan Gomez. Ashley Ray Hansen. Robert Hinson. Lindsay Jansen Corbin. Sydney Jones. Amy Shelton, Canada. Christopher Kowalski. Kimberly Victoria Leachmore. Michael James Leon. Nikia C. Mays. Brenda T. Bippa. Yannette McLaren Baker. Joseph McLennan. Megan Murgis. Jennifer L. Miller. Leah Janelle Miller. Florence A. Odinya Sangili. Caitlin Mackenzie Olesnovich. Susan Price Aleli. Tanya Saaya. Christine Shard. Rechi M. Sese. Amir Shasavari. Amanda Sean Booker. Candice K. Talkington.
Catherine Ann Thompson. Rhonda Tillowy. Melissa Lynn Tremell. Rexy Elsa Varghese. Andrea Lane Whitaker. Taylor Wu. Angela Diane Wood. Makisha D. Wooden. Rachel A. Zaragoza. Master's Degree in Human Resource Management. Jennifer Renee Eiperspach. Laney G. Aerosmith. Angela Nobles Blackman. Nicole Marie Boulot. Brenda Kathleen Carney. Lori Elizabeth Casey. Renee E. Cook. Molly Seneca Day. Heather Marie Dufour. Patrick Riley Edgington. Francine K. Einert. Holly Eckert. Emily K. Griffin. Chuntana Gito. Aya Hariri. Michael Howard Hatcher. Latasha Y. Ng. Brittany Jackson. Chantel Nanette Johnson. Cameo S. Mayot. Nicholas J. Massioli. Casey Patrick McCone. Kristen Raquel Metch. Christina Alicia Moore. Sharna Lee Morris. Trish Mosh. Monique Ortiz. Erica Paul. Nina Perez. Stacy L. Robertson. Nicole Christina Rohde. Sarah E. Sansucci. Jamia Rishe Irene Smith. 
Cameron Sorensen. Amy Stock. Kara Marie Taylor. Ray Testa King. Rebecca Jane Troy. Bradley Robury Voorhees. Samuel Dwayne Williams, Sr. Yake Delana Wright. Master's Degree in Information Technology Management. Nazir Ali Ahmed. Kavoy Stephen Bent. Shelley Renee Brooks. Bradley Krieger. Deirdre Ann Yonker. Kim Lobasso. Stephanie Ann McConkie. Anita Nayani Siratin. Edward Brian Tinkum. Jason Todd. Master's Degree in International Management. Matthew Joseph Mitchell. Master's Degree in Professional Accounting. Melissa Ann Baker. Danielle Lee Ball. Colleen M. Coverly. Robin Fleming. Cassandra Rose Herostas. Nicole Catherine Hewlett. Amber Michelle Laird Pinard. William G. Lee III. Amanda C. Love. Jessica A. Martinez. Rafael A. Sanchez. Nicholas John Souter. Latoya Wagstaff. Jennifer L. Walton. Derek Edgar Ward. Charlotte R. Jordan. Master's degree in project management. Carol A. Calvert. Maganth Chandran. Jocelyn T. Cunningham. 
Andrew Abel Del Valle. Brent J. Edwards. Amanda Rosalie Evans. Christine Louise Fontenot. Alex N. Foster. Warren O. Gaines Jr. Lawal K. Gabagaba. Robert Lyle Kalish II. Morgan M. Landers. Kelly Larson. Tori Leach. Christina Porchidzi. Danny Ribeiro. Eva Janine Roberts Madrid. Myra Volquez. Master of Science in Data Analytics. Cody Appleby. Julian Andre Basira. Dwight William Brandt Jr. Lillian Osasuen Fatunla. Emmanuel Foquen Bichem. Tavani M. Gale. Ian W. Gilbraith. Rebecca Virginia Groover. John Matthew Imber. Scott A. Minor. Michael J. Murray. Christopher Edwin Rashidian. Mills Minty Selcrag. Christopher Spence. Carolina Taborga. Master of Science in Management. Nicole M. Dill. George Holdershaw. Robert Carlos Manriquez, Jr. Marjorie B. Parisi. Lyle Stephen Schatzer. Mary Gabrielle Shore. Master of Science in Organizational Leadership. Lisa Aiden. Brittany Bull. Joanna Davis Bradshaw.
Oriana L. Brown. Elizabeth Tonelli Campbell. Janet Cimelli. Shelby Lynn Clayton. Yoni Coleman. Kelly Crow. Jessica Rose Cunningham. Venus D. Charnette Davis. Lisa Louise Duckworth. Peter Akawang Esalecha. Kelly A. Fernandez. Anne D. Finkner. Rochelle L. Fry Skinner. Aaron Rose Green. Charles Albert Halstead. Jeff C. Haskins. Rhonda Hess. Elena Diane Holland. Tara Diane Hughes. Jeffrey L. Eide. Grilly Jack. Katia Jimenez. Cutter Kane. Sarah Kessler. Joan C. Kanapka. Allison Holly Leifert. Jared Cody Masterson. Matthew Robert Myers. Mobin Aslam Saeed Mion. Jeff Milton. Amanda B. Murray. Jessica Pardo. Kristen L. Peloquin. Ashley L. Perez. Shane Wesley Robinson. Shermaine Blanche Robotham. Christopher Rose. Robert Aaron Shiflett. Lisa Marriott Sims. Tammy Joy Srantz. Lauren E. Stewart. Kimberly Rose Stucker. Rachel Louise Suarez. 
Amy Joanne Tate Martinez. Stephanie K. Warren. Desiree Renee Williams. Master of Science in Teaching and Learning. Jeremiah Atoki. Jennifer Ballou. Margaret P. Chenard. Matthew C. Davis. Mary Donachy Gantz. Nathan Donald Gravelding. Natalie Faith Harpenau. Jessica Jamin. Ashley Nicole Higgins Keithley. Jason Andrew Kinney. Peter Maxwell. Bridget May Parkins. Lucinda D. Rigsby. Rilla Marie Slaughter. Teresa Stacy. Congratulations, graduates. Wherever you are joining from today, your accomplishments are truly commendable. And all of us here at CSU Global celebrate this achievement with you. I will now ask CSU Global President Pamela Tony back for the official conferring of the degrees. For those of you who have successfully completed your programs, by the authority vested in me by the Colorado State University System Board of Governors, I hereby confer upon each of you the recommended degree with all of its rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Congratulations. And now, if all family members, friends, and CSU Global stakeholders would please join me in recognizing the CSU Global graduates. On behalf of CSU Global, I want to thank everyone for attending today. Commencement is truly one of the best days of the year for me, and it is an event that our staff and faculty genuinely look forward to. We are honored to be part of your journey and are thrilled to celebrate your accomplishments today. Days like today are an important reminder of the positive impact that each one of us, all of us, can have in someone else's life. Even amidst the many challenges you faced with completing your degrees, you persevered. Through challenge and adversity comes opportunity, a chance to learn, to expand your thinking, and broaden your perspective. As industries shift and entirely new ones emerge, we are confident that you are prepared to think critically and engage in creative problem solving to succeed in the workforce of tomorrow. You are ready to pursue your passions and take on the challenges that lie ahead. Congratulations again, and have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you, President Tony. It has been my privilege to serve as your Master of Ceremonies today. Don't forget to use hashtag CSUGlobalGrad on social media and tag at CSUGlobal in your posts so you can be entered into a prize drawing. Congratulations once again, Class of 2021.